G'day guys, welcome back to another episode and today we're talking about these things, circle hooks. That was a hit. Yep. So guys, just a bit of an apology for the lack of uploads lately, cold weather rolling in and uh, being really busy with work. So I haven't really had time to go fishing much, but today what I wanted to do is talk about circle hooks a little bit, when you should use them, what species you should use them for, uh, and how to use them, as it's a question that I've been asked a lot over the years. So as far as my history with circle hooks, I've probably been using them for about 20 years. I started off using them for marlin, which is where they really came in to the Australian market first, and have since branched out to using them for other species. Now they're a very, very effective hook with an excellent hookup ratio, and when it comes to releasing fish, you probably can't use a better hook than a circle, but there are certain times that they really come into their own, and there are certain times that I'd avoid using them. And in this video, we're gonna cover that a little bit. So first up, what I wanna talk about is the history of circle hooks, where they originated, and they originated with the commercial longlining fleet. The reason being is that longlining boats were using the regular J-style hook once upon a time, and they were finding a couple of things were happening with them. The first was, they were having their dropper leaders come back with no bait, no fish, but showing a lot of damage. And what that meant was, they were hooking fish on that line, but the fish were shaking the hook and getting free. So obviously no money to be made when that happens. Now the other thing that was happening was they were getting fish come up on the line and the fish were hooked really deep with your standard J hook and they were coming up dead. And when that happens, it decreases the market value of the fish. So what they seek to do was fix both of those problems in the one go with the one hook. And that's what they came up with was circle hooks. As circle hooks, when they find their mark in the jaw corner, obviously they don't they don't damage any of the internal organs or anything like that in the fish, so they survive longer. And you'll find that with a circle hook, once it finds its mark in the jaw corner, it is almost impossible to get it out. So these originated with the commercial longlining fleet and have since made their way into the recreational fishing world. Now how do circle hooks work? Well, they have what's known as a cam action. And what that means is, the hook will pull its way across everything soft within the gullet with the hook point being turned in the way it is and won't hook onto any of the internal organs. Then when they get to the jaw corner, they roll and then they find their mark in the jaw corner and hook up really securely in that jaw corner. Now, in order to achieve this, they need a couple of things when you're recreationally fishing. You need to sort of imitate what's happening on a commercial long line, which is the fish eats the bait, moves away slowly, and that line basically starts pulling tighter and tighter and tighter until basically the hook has found its mark. So there's a couple of ways that you do this. The first is that you make sure you have a lot of slack line out there. Very unintuitive for a lot of fishermen who fish with J hooks as they will always keep their line tight so they can de detect the bite on the, uh, on the line and then set the hook. So lots of slack line and you also wanna anchor the rod butt in place. So if you can't anchor your rod butt in place so that the rod can bend smoothly and basically imitate that loading up of pressure, you may want to stay with J-hooks and strike the fish when you get a bite. Now, the other thing as well, which you need to consider is because of the way that the circle hook has to roll into the fish's jaw corner, you don't actually want to pin that hook through too much flesh on the bait and have the, the gape of the hook bunched up with a lot of meat. You want to actually pin the bait as lightly as possible. That way, the bait will essentially rip off the hook once they've swallowed it, or if it stays attached, it doesn't impede the action of the hook too much and the hook can still find the jaw corner. There's a couple of different ways you can do that. Uh, obviously, pinning the bait as lightly as possible as one using skin on your bait to keep it nice and tough so it doesn't fall off the hook. Another way you can do that, especially with live baits, is to do what's known as a bridle, where you essentially tie the hook to the fish, but you don't actually put the hook into the bait. So now I'm going to discuss when to use them and maybe when not to use circle hooks. So times to use them. If you're in the boat, you throw throwing baits out on, uh, on anchor, something like that, that's a fantastic time to use circle hooks. So you can throw them out, leave plenty of slack line, put the rod in the holder, and then once the fish has taken the bait and moved off, you'll see the rod load up. If it starts paying out line from the reel and the reel starts going off, you generally know you've got the fish hooked already. You don't need to strike the rod, they've already hooked themselves. I really, really like using circle hooks for live bait fishing as well. Um, I find that because of the way that fish will take a live bait, they work really, really well. Basically the fish takes a live bait and starts to move off and then the circle hook and then find the jaw corner. So live baiting, definitely recommend circle hooks for that as well. Now, as far as species go, fish with a big mouth or will, that will move off powerfully once they've taken a bait, those are excellent candidates for using circle hooks. So fish like whiting, uh, snapper, mulloway, kingfish, 
tuna and marlin offshore as well as sharks. All those species are really, really good candidates for using circle hooks. I highly recommend using them for any of those species. Now, the species where I would say that you probably wouldn't want to use it are the species that bite tentatively. So things like your carp, your redfin, your trout to a degree as well. Fish that, like, they, they'll, they'll tend to pick up the bait, but they won't move away too much. They'll kind of just sit in one spot. So those are the ones that I'd probably recommend sticking with J-hooks for. Now, the other time when you probably wouldn't want to use circle hooks is when you're using lures. Obviously, you've got full direct contact with your lure as you're working it through the water column. Fish basically won't get a chance to get that lure down into its, into its mouth and down its throat a little bit. So just use your standard J-hooks or your trebles, whatever you happen to be using for lures. All right, guys, so that's it. If you've got any questions or, or any kind of uh, information you need clarified about circle hooks, please leave a comment below, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And here, I'm gonna put a little funny moment that we had out in the boat the other day. Cheers. Oh, that was a hit. Yeah, I'm a plucky. Might be just driving, actually. Well, that was a hit. You know what that is? That's squid. That's squid grabbing that, I think. There we go. Oh, it's a big squid. Oh yeah. You wanna grab the net? Squid on a plastic, you gotta be kidding me. I reckon that's a squid for sure. Pro pro probably a big arrow, I reckon. It's usually how I do it out here. I, I nailed it, I said, I'm pretty sure that's a squid. Yeah, look at that, massive squid. It's a big arrow, I was, I was spot on, it's a big arrow. Look at that. That's crazy. Big arrow squid. And they are worse than the bloody calamari squid for aggression. <laughs> Where's your calamari, mate? Your, your squid rings. Well, there we go. Big uh, arrow squid to start the day. Born himself up there. Yeah, I called it. I thought it was a squid grabbing at my plastic. And sure enough, bloody big arrow. I'll point him at you. How about that? 